So now I hope you guys are ready for this turn of events. Now in a previous video that I posted this morning, I stated that Carmen and Corey were allegedly spotted out together. Now there was this video posted on YouTube and as you can see in the background here, looks like Carmen was at a car show event with Corey in Miami the other night. Now people were stating, no, this isn't Carmen. It doesn't even look like Carmen. Now I stated in my video, this very much so looks like Carmen, but I thought, hey, maybe this was a Carmen lookalike because no way is Carmen about to pop out at an event with Corey and his assistant. Now I even stated that they were wearing the same exact outfit. Now you guys know how Corey is. He liked to match with his women. So people were stating, no, this was an old video. Well, no, this wasn't an old video because Corey posted a photo in that same jacket on his Instagram today, then he quickly deleted it. But now see, this isn't it. Because now if you guys remember, about nine days ago, I posted a video on YouTube stating that Corey went live saying that he was in Houston, he was there to see his kids. Hey, easy dog, you know, I haven't seen my kids in six months. Shit, I'm here in Houston, been trying to see him, but I still ain't even get in contact with this motherfucker to see my boys so like even though i'm still working and shit man i'm going through a lot just mentally bro but so now i told you guys about these videos that were posted by mr organic on youtube now the billionaire car meetup with Corey was the video that i posted earlier where you can see carmen in the back there now today he posted another video with Corey. now i want you guys to listen closely to what Corey is saying in this video he basically stated that when he went back to houston that day he got his wife back <laughs> i can't lie to you my wife and yeah, my best friend my sister I think I'm a white man. I saw that. Congratulations on that. I see it. I know that is. God is great, though. He been married, man. They young. They was young. They grew up together. So they growing up together. Yeah. The devil. I've been praying and praying and praying. At first, I was like, man, I ain't never going back. <laughs> right, so right. I ain't never going in. I'm like, man, fuck you. Ooh, ooh. And, you know, that's how I feel. But that ain't what God had planned. Yeah. So I still, kept, I, I still praying to God because like, I ain't seen my kids in six months. Crazy. So I'm like, why do you want to see my kids? Oh, little kids. See that, so. well, dear, that was right. amazing. That's the problem. I'm like, okay, I mean, let's go. I'm in Houston and I prayed Saturday night to God. Like, you know where? I, I was there for Thursday, Friday. If she wouldn't contact me, I'm, I'm blocked. Of course. I can't get a contact. So I'm mad. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just, I said, you know what? I'll give up, man. I'm done trying right. to put it in God's hands. Yeah. Tell me why at 5 o'clock the next morning, I got a Miss Face Time call for us. Wow. I know you're right. I look like a Christmas tree. Bro, I, I, I need to walk and talk to my phone. I, I, the fuck? Dude, enough is enough. Like, like, on, the weirdest right? shit yeah. ever. That's hard. Right so we meet up. Right. We meet up the next day. Have a talk. And like, like bro, now we back. Now we, now we back. Yeah. Of course. But, so look, this morning, I get a text message out of nowhere. I'm sleeping. He texted me at 8. My sister, out of nowhere. My sister didn't even text me like this. She texted me out of nowhere. Get your little back ass up. Yeah. That, wow. that is exactly what she texted me out of nowhere. I just, and I just, you know, I hopped up like, bro, I slept. So look, long story short, yeah. bro, I slept in my other room in a, on an on a airbag, in a, in a mattress, on a, not a mattress, but a, what is it? Air is? mattress? No, the Pool little, time? No, not even that, the, the sleepy bag. Okay, the goddamn, <laughs> yeah, you, I, were, I, you I, went I, top I, level, I, yeah. I slept in the bag on the floor, <laughs> yeah. and my wife and my sister in the bed, yeah. in the other room in the bed. Yeah. No bushes, no, I'm going to go and ask so this is not, I'm like, fuck, I'm trying to get in the car, I'm trying to get in the elbow. I hit my guy if I did the name of so I bet that shit he was like rocking. That shit turned out smooth on time. So I get the Uber, go get it. Everything was on time. I'm not I'm paying attention to every night. No spiritual, bro. So I pay attention to like, I'm like trying to see how God really is. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, I'm when like, you I'm know, like, you I'm know. Like, the way God really is crazy. So I'm like, okay, say this. Go get the car. Traffic is jam packed. Stupid jam. Right there, right there, the shell gas. Crazy. Station. All the way back. Po police, got the, they got the roads blocked off all over my house. Got cones. Police in the turn lane. These niggas are pulling over right now. Police in the turn Just lane. Now, this is a good time. Police in the lane. I'm trying to get on the go to the bridge. I'm blocking everything off. As soon as I pull up, I'm like, fuck. I look, I'm like, fuck. Yo, the cops literally just move once. 
do like on him. So this was definitely Carmen here in this video with his assistant. You heard the story that Corey gave. His assistant was sleeping in bed with Carmen. Now, as much as I want to hope that maybe this was old and this was a previous time that Carmen and Corey got back together, I don't think so. By Corey stating he went to Houston and he wasn't able to get in contact with Carmen. And then all of a sudden he stated in that story he just told on Mr. Organic's channel that he got his wife back when he went to Houston after he hasn't seen his kids in six months. This definitely seems like it's current and Corey and Carmen are giving their relationship another try. Now, I know a lot of people are stating, Carmen just said this on Queen's podcast and all this other type of stuff. If you guys remember that podcast that Queen just posted was recorded about two weeks ago. And I told you guys underneath that post, Corey left a comment that stated, I just love her with the heart. Now people thought Corey was actually trolling, but he was serious because see, by the time the Shade Room teens posted this clip of Carmen on Queen's podcast, Carmen and Corey were already back together. So now you guys leave your opinions on this down in the comment section below. The only thing that I'm gonna say here is that I hope Carmen doesn't lose supporters over this. For whatever reason, when you have these social media couples, when they break up, you know, a lot of people take the woman's side, they're behind her, encouraging her. Same thing happened with Krishan and Blueface. Then when she decided to take him back, then she starts to lose support supporters because people don't want to see you go down the same path that you were already down they want to see you being a strong woman standing firm on what you did and not taking this man back and it seems like Carmen is giving Corey another shot after being broken up for six months so now I see why Carmen wasn't so quick to jump into a relationship with Michi because she may have still had feelings for Corey now I'm just going off what Corey has stated in that video we have yet to hear from Carmen if they are officially back together so I'm gonna say all of this is alleged but you guys heard what Corey just stated in that video he said he got his wife back and that definitely looked like Carmen that was with him at that car show but anyways again you guys leave your opinions on this down in the comment section below are you guys just as shocked as as I am because honestly I didn't think Carmen and Corey were gonna get back together again leave your opinions down in the comment section below